Boston Celtics, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Chris Stapps Porzingis is in a lineup for you. I ain't even bring up Derek White and Drew Holiday. Shout out to Derek White. Okay. Derek White, hell of a season. Mm -hmm. How in the hell are you losing to a Lakers team without LeBron James and Anthony Davis? That ain't supposed to happen. That's just not supposed to happen. I've had, I've had Boston as my favorite to come out of the East. You sure and, have. And, and yes, I have. From, from day one, I didn't expect them to be jacking up 44 to 45 threes a game. <laughs> I mean, damn, have you ever heard of a layup? You understand what I'm saying? Have you have anybody that knows how to play with their back to the basket? I mean, is there an uncontested shot that you can create, uh, Missoula? The, the Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum will one day they learn to play off of each other. Missoula's got promise. I respect the man. He's a good coach. Um, I'm happy he's got the opportunity. But if we're being completely honest, can we look down at Houston and see Ime Udoka and understand that there's levels to this? Ime Udoka can coach his ass off. This is a coach. This man could coach. And I'm telling you something right now. That Ime Udoka that took the Boston Celtics to the finals – in his very first year as the coach, when Brad Stevens, who I respect immensely, mm -hmm. who, by the way, is doing a hell of a job as the president of basketball operations for the Boston Celtics and deserves a lot of credit for that. But what he couldn't do in seven years as a head coach, Ime Udoka did in year one. Let me tell you something right now. We wouldn't see the Boston Celtics having the kind of pro as great as they've been. We wouldn't see them playing this way or having the kind of problem they had with Ime Udoka as their coach. This man can coach. And Missoula is still showing us that he can. Tatum, Brown, greatness. Porzingis, big-time pickup. Horford, the age-old veteran, he's still there. Size, defense, chemistry, cohesiveness, discipline at the guard spot defensively in Holiday and White. I get it. But you're not supposed to be losing a game like this if you're the Boston Celtics. And to lose a game like this, to me, I understand it's just a regular season game. They're two and three in their last five games. I just haven't been as impressed as I expected to be with the Boston Celtics, even though they've been winning more games, obviously, than anybody in the East this year. I expected better than what I've seen from them thus far. Because you don't like them stylistically, is what yes. you're saying. Yeah, because I don't think that leads yeah. to championship. I got you. Um, I'm not going to put too much on this game, not too much on this game. Uh, the supposed twos of life mess us up, and that's a word for Bishop Wood. We'll talk about that later. Um, you saw th – they did this. Oh, Brian, AD not playing. We got this. And Austin Reeves was like, checkmate, y'all don't. But it happens. I thought Jason Tatum's sound post game was as honest as it could get. He said, you guys got jobs. You have a bad day at work. We're having a bad week at work. They are coming up short in their job for sure with this loss. But I'm not ready to negate the fact that they've largely been very successful at home. They're sitting at the top of the Eastern Conference standings. Now, the three-point shooting has caught all of our attention as a collective. And I am very curious about what adjustments they will make in the second half of the season. But I was asked about the teams that I've had a chance to see in person. Boston, to me, is still one of the best ones, and the Los Angeles Clippers are the other. And I've seen quite a few teams this season in person. So I'm not going to put too much on this game. I think the Lakers and those role players needed a moment to build on some confidence, and that's what you saw. They are obviously in a vortex of their own trying to figure out what works for the Lakers. Um, but I'm not going to put too much on this game in regards to the Celtics. Well, you could sit up there and say that. I'm just looking at some of these numbers here, okay? Austin Reeves had 32 He went points. off. He went off on them and what have you. And I'm looking at this. You had Derek White in the lineup. 